Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace a number of Sharia judges in a Bahraini courts to greet His Majesty. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the kingdom's judicial uh, history, affirming his keenness to consolidate the independence of the judiciary and to strengthen the, the judicial authority and provide qualified caters based on the important role it plays in promoting the principles of justice and equality, preserving rights and freedoms and enhancing the security and stability of society. His Majesty also affirmed the keenness to serve Islam and maintain its enlightened teachings, laws, respect for other religions as well as the continued keenness of rapprochement between religions and the rejection of division and ignorance. His Majesty the King welcomed them, wishing them success in performing their national duties and establishing the principles of justice and the rule of law. His Majesty expressed pride and appreciation in the judges of Bahrain expressing or stressing that they are an elite of the kingdom's loyal men who are entrusted with safeguarding the rights of citizens and residents and ensuring the achievements of the principles of justice and the rule of law as the right approach to the judicial system in the kingdom. For their part, the judges expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty and expressed pride for meeting with him and conveyed uh, the praise of all those who are interested in the judiciary to His Majesty, pledging uh, to His Majesty the King to effectively contribute in establishing justice according to Islam and the laws of Bahrain, wishing His Majesty abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the members of the Bahrain Journalist Association Board of Directors led by Ahadiya Ahmed on the occasion of electing the association's new board of directors. His Majesty hailed the important achievements and leading role of Bahraini journalism during its march of serving society and supporting comprehensive development through its endeavor to strengthen national unity and adopt causes that serve the country and its people. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the credibility, objectivity and professionalism of Bahraini journalism in performing its national tasks of covering events, defending the country's causes, interests, security and stability and documenting its achievements and gains. His Majesty the King hailed the long march of journalism in Bahrain which reflects Bahrain's leadership in education, culture and comprehensive civilization, affirming that the people of Bahrain are a source of pride. His Majesty congratulated the President and members of the Board of Directors for gaining his, this trust, wishing them success in achieving the association's goals in developing journalism in the kingdom. He reiterated congratulations to Ahdi Ahmed for being elected president of Bahrain Journalists Association to become the first woman to hold the position. His Majesty noted the achievements of Bahraini women in all work fields, especially in journalism and media, commending their competency and their ability to excel, make achievements and hold leading positions. His Majesty the King instructed the association president to convey his greetings to all journalists and columnists in local newspapers and his appreciation for their efforts in serving the country and its people. The Minister of Information Ali bin Muhammad al rumahi valued the wise directions of His Majesty the King and affirmed that uh, His Majesty's support for journalism and media in Bahrain guides this vital sector. He stressed that the journalism and media sector in Bahrain witnessed main developments under the support of His Majesty the King, noting that his continuous directions provides a suitable environment for national media to do its role by enlightening the community and subjectivity, discussing national topics which reflect Bahrain's freedom and transparency in all fields. The Minister of Information added that the current state of media in Bahrain is a result of His Majesty the King's reform project, the democratic achievements and the respect for human rights that Bahrain is witnessing, which reflects the development of media. He affirmed that national media will remain committed to His Majesty the King's directions with efficiency and develop it to serve the nation's interest under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. For her part, the president of the Bahrain Journalist Association, Ahdi Ahmed, expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty the King for his royal directions valuing his support for journalism and the freedom of expression and opinion, which resulted in the progress and development of Bahraini journalism. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghibiya Palace a number of the royal family members. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom of Bahrain's urban development and progress which reflects tireless government work that is able to overcome all challenges. The Prime Minister noted the importance of events and activities that enhance the cultural and artistic movement in the Kingdom and the importance of the Art Gallery which has become an annual event that reflects the evolving cultural reality in Bahrain. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's interest and support of national 
national heritage, which showcases Baha'i's development in various fields. His Royal Highness also stressed the importance of preserving national heritage for future generations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghdebiya Palace the Representatives Council member Dr. Sousan Mohammed Kamal, who conveyed the thanks of Manama citizens to His Royal Highness for developing historical places and landmarks in Manama and for his efforts in developing areas and meeting the service needs of citizens. His Royal Highness said the Prime Minister affirmed that the government gives great importance to all areas and governance. He asserted that the government prioritizes meeting the needs of citizens regarding main services such such as health, education, housing, and raising the standards of living, noting the government's keenness on bolstering cooperation with the Representatives Council and strengthening its audition and legislative role. Dr. Sosin expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continuous uh, support to strengthening uh, government parliament cooperation to serve the democratic march and achieve further national gains. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadibiya Palace the Kuwaiti Ambassador to Bahrain and Dean of the Diplomatic Corps Sheikh Azam Mubarak Al Sabah who delivered to His Royal Highness an invitation to attend the celebrations of the Kuwaiti 58th National Day Anniversary and the 28th Liberation Day Anniversary. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the status of Kuwait for Bahrainis and the Kuwaiti Ambassador described His Royal Highness as one of the pillars of wisdom in the Gulf, highlighting his stances and continuous support to strengthening Gulf relations. His Royal Highness hailed the deep-rooted Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations, highlighting the shared celebrations in Kuwait's achievements that are a source of pride. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister noted the role of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al-Ahmed Al-Jabr Al-Sabah, and his initiatives that are aimed at the interest of humanity, commending the development stages that Kuwait had completed in various fields. His Royal Highness highlighted the course of the developing Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations, wishing Kuwait further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry BCCI, Samir Abdullah Nas. At Rafah Palace, His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of public-private sector partnerships as a main driver of the Kingdom's development within the framework of Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 and its principles based on competitiveness, fairness and sustainability. His Royal Highness further highlighted the Kingdom's continued commitment to the provisions of quality jobs and an environment supportive of economic growth, ensuring Bahraini citizens are at the heart of the Kingdom's development plans. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince emphasized the support provided to various initiatives and steps taken to further diversify the Kingdom's economic sectors and to stimulate economic innovation. In this regard, His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's enhanced regulatory framework that fosters economic growth, attracts investment, enhances efficiency and productivity, and supports local businesses. The Crown Prince noted the BCCI's continued efforts to support the Kingdom's economic development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince added that the BCCI has an important role in representing the private sector and expressed his commitment to supporting the BCCI's endeavors. The chairman of the BCCI expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and noted his commitment to further strengthening the role of the private sector and for the continued support provided to the BCCI. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Al Zayani, attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met with the President of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's Human Rights Commission, Dr. Bandar bin Mohammed Al Aiban, at Rafah Palace. 
His Royal Highness the President discussed Bahrain Saudi long standing and diverse bilateral relations, which is built on a joint commitment by His Majesty King Hamad, bin, King Hamad and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to advance collaboration across all sectors. The Crown Prince highlighted that protecting human rights and workers remains an important part of global challenges that must be swiftly addressed, and added that Bahrain and Saudi Arabia place importance on advancing protections both at home and across the region. His Royal Highness spoke of the Kingdom's strong track record in promoting and protecting human rights and stressed that Bahrain will continue to implement innovative practices to combat human trafficking and reinforce expatriate worker protection. The President of the Saudi Human Rights Commission expressed his pleasure at the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and praised Bahrain's success in protecting human rights, foreign workers and combating human trafficking. The meeting was also attended by senior members of the Saudi Human Rights Commission. Deputy Prime Minister and Deputy Chairman of the Civil Service Council, Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, patronized the ceremony organized by the Institute of Public Administration, the BIPA, today to graduate 26 employees from the public and private sectors of the Master of Public Administration. The ceremony was in the presence of a number of ministers and officials from the public and private sectors. The Deputy Prime Minister affirmed that the government is keen on utilizing efforts and capabilities in investing in human resources through preparing and qualifying public sector employees, which will positively affect the quality and efficiency of government services. He noted that the policies followed by the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the goals set forth by the Civil Service Council under the leadership of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, focus on raising the government employee productivity and enhancing their skills. He expressed congratulations to the graduates and pride in their efforts, which resulted in advanced senior projects qualifying them to attain the master's degree. He also urged them to make a positive change in their work environment to enhance the quality of services and promote principles of competitive, cont competitiveness between employees. He noted that the interest of the private and public sectors in BIPA's Masters of Public Administration and their keenness on joining the program every year affirms the good reputation that the program earned in the last three years and the Institute's ability in adding to the science of administration.
Under the leadership of the Shura Council's second deputy chairperson, Hala Ramzi Faiz, Shura Council approved a draft law regarding the punishment against those who encourage immoral acts. The council also approved a draft law regarding the protection of the society against terrorist acts. The council discussed a number of topics on the agenda and rejected a draft law regarding the care and employment of people with disabilities. The Ministry of Housing organized a workshop for a number of its employees and Iskan Bank employees, which aims to inform them on the most important changes in the newest version of the Mazaya program, which is due to launch next month. The training program came within the framework of the preparatory plan announced by the Ministry of Housing, aimed at introducing employees to the most important developmental aspects in the Mazaya housing program, which falls under the Ministry's policy of providing services for citizens with high efficiency and to cooperate with their with their inquiries and needs.